The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here uh, showing the Dow Jones back in uh, August of 1987. This was August the 25th right here. Uh, on this particular date, it was known as Harmonic Convergence by all the Mayan calendar followers. Basically, you had six planets all lined up in the sign of Cancer. And uh, it was they were getting ready to. I think it was cancer. Might have, I don't know exactly. It was. <laughs> it wasn't Leo. It was the one after that. That would would have been after that. That would have been. I, it doesn't make any difference to sign. They were all at zero degrees. Uh, this was right out of the Brad. This basically was what the model for the Bradley model had been done. We came down into the solar eclipse on September the 27th. We rallied up into October the 2nd, and then we came down. During this time frame, within a day or two, Arch Crawford and I were both in uh, Los Angeles. I was living there. Arch was still in New York, and we were guests at Bill Griffith's show and Ron and Sana, and it was on uh, FNN, Financial News Network, and KWHY in Los Angeles, and uh, we both said there was going to be a very, very significant uh, crash type market coming in here uh, in October of uh, this year. I didn't give the exact date, but I said it will be sometime in October. And I said the Dow will down, be down more than 300 points in one day. The biggest down day the Dow had had during that big up run, up run was 198 points. Well, remember, 198 points when you're trading at 2,700 was a lot. But the fact is it dropped 16% on that day. On that day, there were only 13 stocks up on the the uh, New York Stock New York Futures Index, only 13 stocks out of 1,600. That was really uh, quite amazing. Those are the ones that went up the most after that. But what I did was the way I worked this out. By the way, on August the 25th that day, uh, George Lindsay, who was a uh, call, he did three peaks in the domed house. He'd been on Louis Rue Kaiser a lot. Uh, he had also been predicting the stock market was going to to uh, get ready to have a crash. He died on that day. He died on the high of August the 25th of 1987. So anyway, this is where we stand. I want to show you some of these now as we walk through these because I think this was important. If you'll remember back here, we'll get back here. I want to get to one at a time so I can walk through slowly to understand where we are and where we're going to be going. And I think I can do that this way right here. All right. This is when I've been working for TFNN for a couple of years here. I started in 07 back in this area right in here. I met Tom Hugard over in here and the market had come down into this and I just started writing the letter for them and I said this is going to be the biggest rally we've had in 70 years. That goes back to 1938, folks. And so anyway, what we're going to see here, we had a three drive to a bottom pattern, and this was the Bradley model getting ready to turn on March the 5th through March the 9th, and then it would be going up for quite a while. That's that's all I was talking about. I've spoken many times here uh, with our guest Shane Spillian, who will be a guest tomorrow, about how these, uh, what they called stelliums, where all these planets line up together, and that's something that we're looking at. Now, if you remember... Let's get back here about uh, – it's been several months ago, believe it or not, but we were right here on the lunar eclipse on the 27th, and we had Mercury going retrograde right there. There was the Bradley model. The Bradley model, folks, it picks timing dates. It doesn't tell you volatility. It doesn't tell you that it's going to go up that much. It did this time. But it doesn't always do that. But we made the bottom down here. That was a triple ABCD, pretty much a no-brainer. And we had a little bit of a pullback here into December. And then, boom, the rocket ship that we're into now. And we we're really, really close. In fact, we're really close. I wanted to bring to your attention how close we really are. So here's where we are, folks. As you can see, we're in this zone right near, starting here the 10th, which is today when we have the uh, – we have a new moon, I believe, yes, and uh, 
So we're going to see whether this turns here in the next couple of days. What's important about this, folks, is now this shows a lot of volatility to the downside. That may or may not be true. It's good for timing, but sometimes it'll just chop around and sometimes it just doesn't work. But when you stop and think that they could do this 300 years before this ever happened and this is what happened, you, you got to say, well, maybe there's something to this. And that's that's what I'm trying to bring to your attention now. Because we're up at this level, we've, got, we've already been through this stuff with the Dow Jones and where it is and how it got here and all that stuff. And now we're looking at this thing right here. So that's what I'm paying attention to. I watched that cycle show last night with Larry Williams and uh, the other fellow from uh, Denmark. I think is where he was from. And I understood what Larry was talking about. But again, he was saying that you know no one knows for sure what's going to happen next. And so that's what you got to realize is focus on your risk. And this is where you got to be playing the game right here, right now. That's that's what I'm watching. So we'll see what happens here over the next part of what we're looking at. Uh, and then we're going to go from here. I didn't do every year of the uh, Bradley model because the reason for that is uh, I didn't keep them over all those years. All I did do was I watched to see, you know, what they were going to do when they were supposed to be doing it. And I know that it has a high degree of working. But when you've got patterns that line up at the same time that the Bradley model is lining up, like we have now, here is the Dow Jones. Okay, look, there's where we were. This is just back on the 28th of December. That was just 10 days ago. We haven't taken that high out. We still might. And maybe this breaks out to the upside and, you know, who knows. But boy, the fact that we went up to those exact numbers, you have to pay close attention to that. That's very important. If you pay attention to this number right here at the bottom, you have to pay attention with this bottom, at this this period up here at the top. That's my opinion. Look at what happened in January of 22. You had a beautiful three drives. You had three, two, three drives. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you had the big move down. The Dow moved from 3,600 to 2,860. Okay, that was a, a big 382 right there in October. We highlighted that quite a bit. Uh, then we had the pullback here. And all I'm doing is when I'm watching these folks, I'm matching the patterns to what I'm seeing to try to find a place to enter where you don't have to risk, uh, you know, an arm and a leg. And that's the main thing that we're going to be looking at. OK, now I wanted to talk just a second. Let me get back up here. So we'll take a look at what some of these charts are, because we have a we if you're uh, oh good. We just made our price objective here for the day in the uh, in the S&P, 48.11, there's your ABCD pattern right up there. So that should be the high of the day. Now, you see we've made a new high. There's big divergence here. You see in the the uh, Dow Jones, we did not make a new high. We did make a small Gartley just now, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Put it up here. See, we went right up to it. So I'm just giving it to you on the short term and try to feed you a little bit of information on the long term. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay, now going to stop here and go to the weekly and then I want to discuss something okay there was a man back in the 1930s his name was Robert Roger Babson and I'm going to cover that when you come up this is a really interesting story I followed this man for a long time and uh, he left a legacy that is whew, pretty much unparalleled so we're going to talk about Roger Babson when we get back to the next uh, segment here okay Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to talk about Roger Babson. Uh, he was born in 1875. He died in 1967. He predicted the stock market was going to crash in 1929. He was a little early. He thought it was going to be July. Uh, in fact, they made fun of him in the financial press, and he didn't really uh, take it very well, and so he really didn't do very much. He founded the Babston Institute, which is a nonprofit organization for uh, understanding research, and it's still active today. Uh, he, he founded three colleges, Babson College, Weber College, and another one. Uh, there were three of them that are still operating today, liberal arts schools. Uh, he lived to be 91. He was a huge fan of uh, Albert, uh, Albert Einstein, uh, Isaac Newton, and he was such a fan that he bought Isaac Newton's personal bed uh, at an auction. And uh, he had it for many years there in Wellesley, Massachusetts, where he lived and where Babson College was. And... Uh, I had heard that uh, this bed had a headboard that was scrolled in with the uh, with some kind of spiral. So I had a friend of mine go over there and try to do it, and it was there, and it had spirals, but the organization would not allow any cameras. Uh, later on, the bed was sold back to the uh, estate of uh, Isaac Newton, taking it back to Worcester, England, uh, where it sets today. They have beds now that are made now that have these spirals on it and they are the Fibonacci spirals. The main thing about Babson, which you have to realize, he actually ran for presidency against Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Wendell Wilkie. He finished third and he was on an independent ticket and he never ran for office again after that and he just did his thing and he was an investor and speculator, kept a very low key, very little about him. Part of any of his papers were impossible to find. I searched for years. I couldn't do it. But he was very good at what he did, and he did a good job at it. So I just wanted to bring that to, to your attention. Now, I mentioned Wendell Wilkie. And when we talk about timing, folks, Wendell Wilkie was running for the office of President of the United States against FDR and Roger Babson. He has, without a doubt, the very best timing signal that has ever been produced in technical analysis or any other kind of analysis, okay? Take you back to the White House in December of 1941. It was actually December 7th, and it was a breakfast meeting at the White House, and Wendell Wilkie, of 
course, getting ready to run for president, said, we are not going to go to war with Japan in 30 days, 30 years, or 300 years. It will never happen. That was at a breakfast meeting at the White House on December the 7th. Now, stop and think. There's an eight-hour time difference over to Hawaii. So by the time they're cleaning up the dishes, we're at war with Japan, and World War II has started. So... That's uh, that's what the kind of guy he was. Uh, I'm not saying that. The fact that that comes out of a book by uh, – it's called The Expert uh, Speak by Christopher Cerf and Victor Kavansky. I keep it on here because it's about uh, 400 pages of everybody that has made predictions and how wrong they be. I, I'm on the first 34 pages in bold type. Not, I'm not in the book at all. But anyway, it just shows you the offer different thing. The president of Decca Records, okay, turned down the Beatles. He said – these floppy top guitar guys are history. Hello, operator. You know, there's just so many of them that were there that uh, just uh, absolutely incredible to uh, read them. But uh, you just wouldn't believe. Uh, computers will never be any good except for technical people in manufacturing. They'll never be used by the home. I mean, this was a guy that was running uh, computer sciences, I believe. I mean, it's just really amazing some of the predictions people have made, including myself, only I'm not in the book. But we're wrong all the lot. So all I'm saying is be really careful where we are right now, folks, because we're in a zone where things could get really nasty. Now, I've said before, it's not going to be real apparent to most people until we get to this level here in the S&P. I want to get this up here to show you where we should be. Now, I'm just going to go to the weekly so we can see it pretty quickly. Okay, now, there's the low that we had in October. Okay, there's our October low. Had every, there's the ABCDs, okay? Now, if we go more than 78% of that, okay, which is right here, so when we start getting below 4,300, that's 300 handles from where we are right now, folks. So if we start getting below here, get ready to make sure your portfolios don't take too much damage because this is going to be real interesting. The key spot, of course, to see if there's going to be really good support from my perspective is right here at the 382. That's basically 4,574. Now, what I will do is when it breaks – should it get below? Folks, I'm already short. I told the folks today this is the, probably the place you ought to do it, uh, and I have just said get in there and get short. I didn't even give a price. I said anything above 4800 to me was a gift, and I gave a big wide berth as a stop. I mean, Larry Williams uses a 50-point stop. I didn't use that. I, uh, I used a 30-point stop, but uh, I believe uh, – I think that's probably what we're going to be watching here is how it gets through for this number right here. Remember, this is a weekly, so it's going to take a while for this to happen. Remember, the low this week has been 47.13. We had a pretty big break. Look, we had a pretty good break this week. There's the break right there. Let's move it over a little bit. You see, that was not a small break. Look at that. We came all the way down there to all the way down there, and now we're coming right back up, and we're almost at the 78% level. I think we're within a heartbeat. Oh, by golly, that's what happened. It hit it on the number. Shut the front door, 4812. What was the high? 4813. That's not so bad. So anyway, that's what I'm looking for here, folks. I'm looking for something that's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty nasty. All right. Now, I've got a couple of things that we got to cover the second part of this show that I got from uh, – Larry's show that I think that he's looking at it, so I'm certainly going to be watching too. But here is the uh, Treasury bonds. Uh, we just missed getting filled here today. If we were trying to get filled right here, we missed it. Hasn't really done it yet, but keep your order in there because I still think we could. Uh, I still think we could pop up and get to that level here uh, in the Treasury bonds. The other one was we had been long hogs, and I told the folks I think you probably should get short hogs. Let's just get it up here. Let's do the – first we'll do the daily, okay, because that's where we came. Okay, there's the daily. There was our 61% retracement yesterday, okay. That was also exactly 50%. That make this a 135. We bought them down here. We sold them. I said to get out of them, so you had a good chance. If nothing else, you're unchanged right now on the day, so make sure you're out of the, out of the hogs. I would personally uh, – be looking to be short these because all we've done so far is we've come down we've rallied up into the zone here but i still think this is an area where you want to be selling hogs with a buy stop above this level right here now larry williams uh, talked about soybeans i don't have much time here on this segment and i've got some questions to answer from uh, some of our friends in new jersey and also dubai 
And I'll answer those when we come back uh, from the break, which will be here post-haste, I believe. Uh, we got a minute to go. Let's go. One of the things I'll be talking about, uh, by the way, our guest tomorrow will be Shane Smolian, wolftrader.com. And uh, that's pretty much uh, our end of the guest for this week. Oh, sorry, Rich Anderson will be our guest on Friday because we have a big grain, grain report. And I think we're getting ready for a, a pretty good move uh, here in the grain markets. And I'm going to be watching July soybeans because that's been my favorite over the 50, 60 years I've been doing this. But we'll be talking about that when we get right back. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, this is July soybeans. These have not even been planted yet, folks. They're still on the intentions list. Each farmer's thinking about what they want to be doing. They'll have those planted by late March. Uh, early April, of course, and then the growing season starts. But if you'll remember back here in 21, we were making a bottom down here about 980. We went from 980 to $14 over the next year and a half. That's a $30,000 move. Then we backed off and we went up and such. What Larry was talking about is that the fundamentals, which I had no idea that even looked at, says that it looks like they could be good for the soybeans for this year. 
That I don't know. All I'm going to be doing is looking at the technical picture. And we've got a big report coming up here, and that's going to tell us where we are right now. As you remember, back in 21, after this bottom was made, we did make a beautiful bottom here right around the 4th of July. Uh, actually, it was June 9th when we made the bottom right exactly at a 61% retracement. And then the market went up and made this massive quadruple top up. Well, it one, two, three, four, five, six times saying there was some resistance. And now we've dropped uh, $2 a bushel pretty much from 14 to 12. And we're uh, sitting right at the 61% retracement right here on the July beans. The March beans are already below that level. So what we're going to be deciding is with this report coming out, we want to decide where we would be a buyer of the July soybeans here. And remember, they haven't even begun. This is a figment of everybody's imagination here, folks. And if you like ABCDs, I just spotted one here. Look, there's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg right there. And look where the high came in at 1420. And the high was... 1421. That's not too bad. Now, here's where we are. So, the first thing you want to do is you got a double bottom in here. So, you want to see what the expansion numbers are going to be on the double bottom. And as you can see, we are headed down. We're already going through the 127. So, there's our logical choice right here. That's for me. Now, that's down 30 cents. Now, that's going to be a lot. Okay. So, but this is where the game is played. So, I like this number right here. I like both of these numbers. The difference is nine. 11 cents between the two so i'm going to be putting them in right here 161.8 okay that's going to be the uh expansion of this move right here and if this is also the 78 percent level is going to come in right there okay so i have to decide which of these two i'm going to take mathematics precedes geometry as Newton's, as Einstein said, this is mathematics, this is geometry. And so what we're, the reason why is just a pullback is all it is. It actually is mathematics too. But here's what we're watching. I'm thinking of here, 1225. That's down 30 cents from where we are right now. That means we have trading for Thursday and also for Friday. But I'm going to be buying at uh, 1226. And i got to be a farmer, folks. So this farmer is going to have to risk about 30 cents to to restart this farm it's going to be fifteen hundred dollar risk uh, you can't risk 10 15 cents on these because they're going to be pretty wild so your stop is going to be half of just a little below eleven dollars i guess right down in here a little excuse me a little below twelve dollars your stop would be right down in this zone right here but that could be a really interesting one not as interesting as the one we're looking at in the stock market right now but it could be an interesting one so let's play close attention to that speaking of stock uh, let's get this other stuff here hold on a second i've got to get some of these out because i've got so much to cover i'll talk to the gold in just a minute so let's bear with me for a second here is our soybean oil now we've got a major re remember let's get the daily soybean up here if you like the daily this will probably be the leader of the pack on the way up there was our number right there uh, we bought it at 46.60 it's now up a little over a thousand bucks so i would say you're up three days. You got a report coming in. I don't like going into reports, so I would take profits here and look to buy it on a pullback. So if you're going to buy it on a pullback and you're in the oil and you want to buy it, so all you're going to do now is let's go to a 60 minute, and uh, you'll see there's the run that we had. Gee, we've had a pretty good run here with no 382s, I believe. Didn't have any there. Didn't have any there. So the first 382 would come in uh, if this is the high. I don't know if it is or not. Well, that's nothing. That's down 60. So here's where you want to be looking at it probably uh, from a buying stamp. Oh, this is a place to buy it. Hello, operator. Pay attention, Larry. They're trying to tell you something here. There's your left shoulder right over here. Okay, here comes your right shoulder right here. All righty. All right, so there's your left shoulder. There's your right shoulder. Your report's coming in here on uh, Friday, uh, the uh, 12th, I think, right? The 12th, that's going to be right about there. That's going to be pretty close to the cycle stuff. Let's just eyeball it just for the kicks and giggles. There's the first cycle. Go up to the second cycle. There it is. It's going to be close. So as long as we can stay, here's the ideal spot right here at 47.25. That's down a point from where we are right now is to buy that Buy this, rebuy that soybean oil at 47.25.
put a stop below this one right here. That's 46.25. You've made really good money on this here, so you've got some capital to work with. So this is a head and shoulders pattern on this. So by the time it gets here, remember it's a couple of days out. That's what you'd want to be watching. So let's uh, let's watch that one. Very very important. I haven't done the wheat yet. The fact is, since we're between us girls right here, let's get up here. Oh, I've got too much to cover. I'll do the wheat last, okay? Let's get back up here to the gold market next because this is the one that we were looking at uh, last night in the middle of the night. Unfortunately, it happened about 2 in the morning our time, but you'll notice this is what we're going through right now. We had a rally here. There was your 382 level right in here. We never went above the 50% on this move right here, and I was suggesting to the folks that this is most this is not gonna we missed this this missed it by three bucks so we, we we could get rid of that now what we're gonna do is go to the 60 minute so we can see it a little clearer and you'll be able to see where we are okay here's get this out of the way see we're coming down we're almost ready to break through to the downside of this level right here you, you see we hit it one two three four times and now we're getting ready to test it again at 2024 okay now we know that we have an ABCD coming in right about that time, so we're going to find out whether it's just going to kiss that line and go lower. Oh, 26. It's already hit this. Just just hit it right now. It's trading at 26.70, uh, so it's made that. But this is where I think we're headed is down to this level right here, which is which is the larger ABCD. we got to go to the four hour on that just to get it i hope this is answering jeff's question his question i'll cover it uh, when we come back from the break on how do i go back from looking at uh, different things and this is how i do i want to if i don't see what i see on the 60 minute i want to see if there's a a bigger picture on the four hour and there it is see here i'm only looking at this now i'm looking at uh you know three and a half weeks so there's your big abcd to downside 202 200 so right in this area is where you're making multiple abcd so you want to be a buyer goal there in fact it's not too not too shabby to be short getting into this thing right here so that's it if you look at this on a you know micro short basis you'll see that all we did today get this up here i watched it here tonight last night there it was you made the uh 382 retracement up here this was about four in the morning uh, Tucson time and then we came down we broke really hard right. let's be right back take a break don't go away or to follow You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Uh, okay, folks, I believe we have a big CPI number coming out on Friday. That's going to probably, you know, get these uh, things to be those to those areas where we think they're going to go, like gold and maybe treasury bonds and maybe stocks are going to go up forever, possible. Anyway, here's where we are with the crude oil today. This is just a three-minute chart looking at it overnight. And there's where we were. We dropped uh, $2 uh, a barrel. Now, there's your 382 last night. Remember, this took several hours to about an hour and a half to form, uh, actually one hour to form, but it was right at the 382. It's dropped, uh, you know, quite a bit. So that's what we know is that if that's the case, we'll be looking at an ABCD pattern coming down to this level right here. Okay, uh, some people have asked me, you know, several people, why don't I get on these shows for the foundations for the study of cycles? And folks, I, I only have one trick pony. That's what I have. And, I, it, you know, it's very boring to most people. When I was in, uh, we went to Los Angeles in 88, and I was, you know, presenting my book that had been the uh, technical book of the year and, uh, and was an Amazon bestseller. It was doing really well. And, uh but I told the folks that, you know, everybody said this was the end of the stock market, you know, look for a bear market rally. And I, uh, Peter Leidnies was there, so was Stan Harley. And we pointed out, look, that low in the stock market on October the 19th and 20th of 1987. Remember, that was just a year ago, year or so ago, uh, less than a year because it was August, yeah, August to August. And so that's where it was. That was an exact six. I'm going to show it to you because I was going to do that anyway so I might as well get up and take a quick look at it and I think this is it right here yeah nope that's the longer uh, this is the one about the I'm going to cover that too but I want to do this is the one I want to cover uh, that's the wrong one too this one right here this is it okay this is the stock market folks going back into the 30s okay this is the 29 top that was uh September the 3rd 1929 the Dow gave up uh 93% of its value went from 383 down to 41 in uh, 1932, three-year bear market. And then it was the best buying opportunity in the, in the history of the world because it went from there to 38, 30, or 40,000, whatever it was. But here is the keys that I want to point out to you right here. Here was the big bottom right here in the stock market. This was the double bottom. It was October and December of 1974. This is the same type of thing that we're looking at right now, only upside down. This is a double stellium thing that uh, happened on uh, October of 74 and then December of 75, which was just a slightly bit higher. Okay. All right. This was the crash of 87 right here. All right. This was a 61% retracement from the Dow. Okay. And there's what happened. There was the, uh, the COVID thing that ended right here. 2018. So all I done is every time I've had these mates, look at this three drive to top here. This was in January of uh, uh, 68. It went from 68 all the way down into 74. Nine year bear market gave up 40% of its value. Okay. And this is when I uh, 
got wiped out and then I learned a little bit and still learning. <laughs> so that's what we're paying attention to here uh, with that. So I'm uh, just showing you that I'll be keeping it updated because when I'm wrong, I'm going to be the first to believe it. I did find this. This is Isaac Newton's uh, tombstone and uh, he's buried in, uh, uh oh, we have a mind warp here. Uh, it's a place right there in the middle of the parliament there. I can't remember. It's This is Isaac Newton. He, he was 75 years old. He said, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. I think he's right just about uh, on that stuff. So we'll see uh, what happens. Uh, regarding that, folks, if you remember Einstein, they asked him who was the ask him who were the smartest people and he said Pythagoras was by far the smartest human ever to walk the earth he said there was God and there was man and in between was Pythagoras and he said then there was Galileo he said Isaac Newton oh who was the third or fourth one I can't remember the fourth one and then uh, then he said of course myself he was number five anyway that's uh, he, he had not much humility, but uh, Newton did, but not so much with that. By the way, I, I don't, I, when I was going through to do some research on this, did you know that Isaac Newton, he worked 18 hours a day, seven days a week. He was never married. He was celibate, just like he was a priest. He never consummated. Uh, 20 hours a day. Remember this, 20 hours a day is what Leonardo da Vinci, he worked 20 hours a day, seven days a week for his whole life. And when he left... He left a message saying, my life has been in vain. I've discovered nothing. I've done nothing. I've contributed nothing. And so I put a bid in on the 14 paintings that he did for nothing, but I haven't heard back from any of the people that have paid the I don't know, $11 trillion or whatever it happens to be. Anyway, these fellows were pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, Edison never had a bed. He slept. He worked uh, 18 hours a day, and he didn't sleep in a bed. He slept in a chair. So, you know, this is people that, you know, they're really consumed by some of this stuff. So this ain't me. I, I don't sleep much, but not like that. I mean, that's just out of the world. Or let's get up here, take a quick look at a couple other things that people have asked me about here today. One of the, I think I've come, oh, one of the questions that Jeff asked is how do I go about and determining, you know, which, which uh, status I want to look at? First of all, I'm looking at a three-minute here, and I can see that just for one day. But the next thing, I, when I start out, I go to a four-hour. Okay, there's a four-hour chart for the crude oil, all right? So I know this is no longer valid because we went lower than this point right here. So now we've come down and we broke. Now, the high that we had here today was setting right at, guess what, boys and girls, right at the 78% level. Went a little bit above it, and all it's done is it comes down and it's making another bottom, just, just like it did here, made another bottom to this level right there there's your 78 percent level coming in here just a little below 71 even okay so it's got to hold that because if it doesn't hold that then we're moving to the downside so i go to a 40 minute and now if i want to see something a little clear i'll go to a 60 minute but that pretty much tells me what i want to see anyway because there's the let's just draw the 78 percent level in right this is actually drawn wrong because it made a higher high here so you have to you have to redraw that and uh, so there's where your 78% level comes in right here. That's going to be important to really watch for several reasons. It's also going to be an expansion there at the old uh, 1.618. So there's the zone. If we get below this, we're going to be looking at a pretty big break in the oil, you know, down into this level right here and making a double bottom maybe back into uh, January the 3rd. So that's what I'm really trying to do. Um, Jeff asked, "Do I have a? Uh, do I do do specific uh, random? Do, do I select certain things? Like some days I'll send videos out on grain, sometimes crude oil, usually always on the S and P and bonds and gold, but not not really. But if I see a pattern, and especially if someone sends me a pattern on the futures, then I'll do that. Another question that someone asks is, why don't I trade stocks? Very simple, folks. If you trade stocks, you got to do two things. You got to worry about dividends if you're short. Second thing is they're charging you interest rate on your uh, margin debt, which is a uh, 50%, you got to put up 50% as opposed to 10 or 20% in futures. Okay, the liquidity is instantaneous in the futures, much, much easier. Okay, you don't have to worry about reports as often. So, those are the reasons. I hope that answers it. Wow, end of the day is coming fast. 
boys and girls. Let's keep those cards and letters coming in. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we got a guest speaker coming in. Mr. Mike, how are you doing today? Hey, Larry, how you doing, buddy? Long time listener, second time caller. Well, you won the prize, my friend. What can I help you with? Listen, I've been in wheat for I don't even know how long. I'm in the Techrium Wheat, W-E-A-T fund. I was just, uh, I didn't catch you all you saw. What, what are you thinking as far as, you know, uh, I'm in no rush because I've been in there for so long. So any chance of this thing going up? Oh, yes, I, I'm very bullish to grains. Uh especially wheat and especially soybeans and especially corn. It's not below oh, yeah, $5. I got, I got corn, too. So corn's looking good, too? I think so, yes. We have to get through this report here on Friday, which I'm expecting it to be a bearish report. That's what I'm anticipating, which I'd like to see. And then I want to see how the market reacts to it. But uh, actually, for the first time in a long time, there's some pretty uh, high-powered people are looking at the long side of the grain and soybean oil markets. So, uh, yes, I am friendly to those. Let me ask you, Larry. I haven't caught you. Uh, what's your uh, What's your thoughts on the near term in the stock market? Are you bearish? <laughs> no, no, I'm not bearish. I'm real bearish. I'm grizzly bear, Kodak bearish. 
<laughs> okay. All right. That's what I wanted yeah. to know, buddy. Thank you. I'm, I'm you always, know, I, I'm, Mike, I got to remember now, I'm, I'm always, uh, I always have an opinion, but I'm never in doubt, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I could be wrong. If we close, if we close higher the day after the Martin Luther King holiday, if we close higher, above 4840 uh, in the uh, s and I will have to renege my uh, s uh, cycle subscription and also turn in all my chart tools because I will have to admit that I'm wrong. But it's got to close up there, and then I'll say, I don't think it'll do it, but we'll see. All right, Larry. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate your support, Mike. Hang in there, folks, and we'll be back tomorrow with Shane Man, the Wolf Trader. We'll be back tomorrow, so may God bless.